Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to cover what I would call cross-platform standard CAD files, also known as STEP files. Um, they're available all over the internet for all different kinds of parts and pieces you want to make, but a lot of times they don't have them into a printable, a 3D printable format. So today we're going to cover going out, finding one of those STEP files real quick, pulling that into a free program such as FreeCAD, and then converting that to an SDL so we can print it, or at least even converting parts of that part to an SDL so we can print it. So let's get to the computer and get into it. Hey, welcome back to the computer, guys. Today I'm on the Mac, and I've already loaded FreeCAD 0.18. I'm going through the process and learning. I'm going through some different tutorials. Uh, more on that later, though. But uh, what I've done is, is I found some step files that I um, wanted to convert to STLs to print. And some of them are, are what I would call multi-part step files. I'm, we'll get into that in a second. First, where I found these, I found these on, on Grab, GrabCAD. I'm out here looking at things all the time. And you can go and you can do a search for uh, certain things in the library. Like, say we wanted to search for camera. You know, we can find all kinds of files out here. Now, some of them are going to be in a specific format, but some of these are like step IGES rendering or IGES or however they say that. I'm not really sure, but uh, I again, I'm not a CAD wizard uh, by any means, still learning it. So let's take, let's take this one for example. Let's say we wanted to download and print this. Um, so we can go ahead and download this. Of course, you have to be signed in. Uh, but this, you'll notice, is a step file. Uh, it has step files with it. We're going to go ahead and open this up. And we're going to open it and just look real quick. Um, it has multiple parts to it, you can see. Uh, here's the renderings of the two JPEGs, and here's the step file. So let's go ahead and go over to FreeCAD. And let's open that step file. And here we can see there's the step. So let's open that. And there is our file. Now, one thing you're going to want to do, just as a quick tip here, we're not going to get into FreeCAD too much. You can see there's multiple parts to this. Let's go over here to this combo view. And let's look and see what we got. Um, chances are you're probably going to want to print the entire model, which would be under this unnamed. As soon as I save this, it'll change to whatever I save it to. Um, and this is, I think, kind of like the master part or whatever you want to call it. And these are the different parts in it. So uh, you can highlight each one of these, and you'll see in the drawing where they are at. So let's, uh, let's say we only wanted to print this D-ring. We could hit spacebar, and we can make the visibility go away on these items. And then we can go up to File, Export. And then we can choose STL and save that, and take that into Cura and go print it, or any, any of our slicers. Uh, so that's, that's just an easy way to quickly go in and e export something, uh, an individual part if you want to, right? Not just the entire model. So and that's all we have for today. Quick tip. Uh, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.